Mark Williams is right here with us now. It is so good to see you. This, this will be a lovely treat for Christmas, Father Brown. Yes. There's something about doing a Christmas special. Yeah. It's like being knighted. It is. It means you're, you're in that exclusive club of national treasures. <laughs> there you are, whether you like it or not. <laughs> in the box. <laughs> I know. Ooh. Breaking Bad didn't really take off until the fifth series. That's true. And we've done 60 now, which is almost sort of American yeah. in its scale. That's true. Um, but it's, it's a very close crew and a very close cast and it's... Dare I say it, it's enjoyable to do. <laughs> Which is a bit kind of a bit of a, oh, are you supposed to enjoy it? <laughs> well, you are, but it's not always the case, is it? That's no, the thing. It must no. be a joy to do that. And it's, it's not, I mean, yeah, you can compare it with Breaking Bad in the sense, you know, it's coming into its own, but he's not really. It's not about crystal meth, no. No, not really, no. That would be, that would be a difficult one for the father yeah. to sort out, wouldn't it? <laughs> Although, you never can tell, you know, it's the way things go. But you're really busy just now. Everything's going so well. You've got this Christmas special coming up on the 23rd and then this lovely, lovely story about the bear. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. That, was, that was a deep joy to be asked to do that. Michael Rosen made this amazing admission. Helen, Helen was, wasn't on the platform because I don't think she's, that's her thing. But he said that when, when he, he wrote it, and it came from a chant. Yeah. Um, we're going on a bit. Yeah, huh? um, and Helen drew these, as he said, these amazing watercolours. He had no idea <laughs> that, that it was the same, you know, it was like two different... He didn't think that she could come up with something like that. But as he pointed out, when you sit reading with a kid, once they're normally on your right, aren't they? Yeah. Words, pictures. Yeah. And uh, so um, it was lovely. Oh, it'd be a lovely job to do, really lovely job. The only thing about that is you don't get to meet the other people that you're working with. No. Because obviously you're in a studio booth doing it, you know, just doing the voice work, yeah. so you don't get to see them all. No. Which is quite sad. It was. Although I met Pam Ferris um, for the first time when we were uh, doing some publicity for it, uh, and she's a wonderful woman. No, it's grand. We've kind of grown up with you, haven't we? You know, we've kind of grown up with you. We've seen you on our screens forever, such a long time. Yeah, it, it's becoming... I kind of think, when was that? And you always have to add 10 years, I yeah, think. Yeah, I know, I, I agree with you, absolutely. You you're like, like, it must have been at 50. I know, because the, the, the fast show, we kind of think, oh, that was only like a couple of years ago, but it was ages ago. Still holds up well, though. Thank you. Still holds up very well. I think we think that as well. I think you should do more. Well, there was, a, there was, a, there was odds, apparently, um, from a bookmaker on it being remade. <laughs> I don't know. I think so, if you were all up for it, I think so. I have to compliment well, you. Well, apart from missing Caroline, of course. Oh, who, well, that... Who yeah. was the best of us. Yeah, that's very true. That was very, very sad. This has not been a good year for, for losing people. Appalling. Amazing people. And, you know, starting off with David Bowie and then it just kept getting worse and worse and worse, didn't and it? And losing Alan Rickman. Yeah, really sad. Victoria Wood. <clears throat> yeah. I know, it makes you think to yourself, you know, you've got to seize the day somehow. Yeah, and just carpe get on. diem. Absolutely, and just get on with it. <coughs> have you had this cough? Do you know, I haven't, but lots of people have had it. Lots of people, it's going around like wildfire. It always happens this time of year, doesn't it? I was saying about your shirt, I really like it. It's very friend Christmassy. Of, friend of mine's Gresham. It's fantastic, isn't it? It's got little Christmas horses and little Christmas stockings and all the rest of it on it. What are you going to do at Christmas then? Is it family time? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. big time. Um, although we're not... We... we turn and turn about about Christmas Day. So we're doing Boxing Day this right. year. Right, oh, that's good. And I actually like, prefer cooking for that. So um, Emma, Emma's a brilliant baker, so there'll be loads of cakes and everything. That's great, isn't and it? And I do the, um, I'll do the, a pâté, and I'm going to do a big minestrone, you know, kind of... You're ar good. Army, army pot-sized yeah. minestrone. Yeah, for everybody to wire in, that sounds yeah, great. Yeah, and some spiced beef. Listen, um, can you can you come in and maybe do that? <laughs> that, sounds absolutely, that sounds absolutely fantastic, Mark. I, I think that would be great. Look, we're going to see you Friday the 23rd, Father Brown, Christmas special, National Treasure, all of that. And it's been a, a, an absolute pleasure to talk to you. And it's been really great. Thank you. And Thank I, could, you. I could live on this set. I know, it's all right, isn't it? It is just like, it's just like an explosion of Christmas. It is. An explosion. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, love. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. 
If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe.